Magical Poppin' is a platformer that was released exclusively in Japan for the Super Famicom, or better known as Super Nintendo in the West. I happened to come across this game from another YouTuber's video, and I thought it looked interesting, so I gave it a try. What caught my attention was Magical Poppin's 16-bit sprite work. The colors are vibrant and the character animations are fluid, but none of this would matter if the game wasn't fun to play, and thankfully it is. Your character is a sword-wielding witch with magical attacks at her disposal. She moves quickly and accurately, and spamming her sword strikes is a lot of fun. Magic Poppin is most similar to Metroid of any game. While the game has separate levels, unlike Metroid's uh, big cohesive map, Magical Poppin still structures those levels in a non-linear fashion, with a um, gated pass that can be unlocked when obtaining a new ability or spells in this game since you're playing a witch. The rooms where you acquire these spells are even reminiscent of the rooms where you acquire the abilities in Metroid. The levels in Magical Poppin are more exploration based than obstacle based, but you do have those as well. The primary challenge of Magical Poppin is defeating enemies and trying to find out where to go. The combat is simple, but can be challenging as the game goes on. Some enemies avoid or block your attacks, and you must break their guards by attacking repeatedly. Attack them from below or from behind, or use one of your spells from afar. Bosses in this game can be quite challenging if you're not uh, carefully watching their patterns. And even when you do get them down, I, I still find it hard to um, to take some of these down. One major flaw with this game, however, is the lack of a save system. There's no way to save your progress in the game. There's no battery save, and not even a password system. So if you're playing this from a physical copy, you have to do it in one sitting. Which is pretty unreasonable, because this game is, is pretty long. Um, it's like probably like an average length game for a Super Nintendo platformer. It's about six of these levels in the game. Magical Poppin also uses the, uh, the live system, and it gives those out really sparingly. You collect like three objects, and three of those will get you one life. So, yeah, they don't really like to give those out. I fortunately played this on an emulator, so I didn't really have to deal that much uh, with that situation. Taking that element away, it's a pretty okay game. Um... Never found it too difficult or unfair, even though I struggled in some parts. Like this part in particular where, that requires you to climb with your swing ability, which seems simple enough, but the timing is strict and kind of awkward. Oh, one downside I forgot to mention is Poppin has some major slowdowns in some areas of the game. It's usually in areas where there are a lot of enemies and obstacles on screen, and some areas are worse than others. Um, there was one area in particular that went massively slow. It does bring them the enjoyment a bit, but um, I still overall say this is a pretty okay game. Uh, if you're curious about Magical Poppin, I say give it a try, but if you never end up playing it, I don't think you're uh, missing that much. I give this game a 6 out of 10.